right, welcome back, Nailville Foodies, and we're back again with another quick video tutorial. But before you do anything, I need you to stop what you're doing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also, hit the like button and the little notification button, which is the bell button, so you can get all notifications as we post up our videos immediately. And you don't have to wait in that long line, honey wondering what's coming out of neoville and so today guys i decided that i wanted uh some biscuits and sausage gravy so i decided to go ahead and do a video on it because this is such a, a simple thing to do um and you will probably have your ingredients already in your fridge for this and so we're going to be using some sage sausage. I have a pound of that. Some milk, butter, flour, salt, and pepper. Simple as that. Nothing too heavy and, and hard. Um, very simple and easy recipe. So just to get right into it, we put about a tablespoon of olive oil in our pan. And then we open it up our sausage. And now we just want to uh, get our sausage cooked up. Um, and brown till it's uh pretty much done then after uh it's mostly done we're going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of our butter and we're going to let that butter melt in the pan and finish browning up our sausages and once we got that finished and browned up then we're going to come in and add our flour and you just want to coat all your sausage with this flour um that is about Four tablespoons or you can use uh, one third four tablespoons is a little less than one third but you can use one third if you uh, don't feel like doing the four tablespoons and so now we're just letting that flour cook on that sausage to get out that floury taste uh, before we get ready to add our milk and guys we are going to be using whole milk for this um, if you're using like 2% or low fat, then I would suggest that you use a little bit more flour if you're using a, if you're not using whole milk. And so once you got um, your flour cooked and it's not pasty, you want to go ahead and start adding in your milk. Now I did, the first time I poured it, I poured about two cups just to get it started i didn't want to pour in too much at one time because as it thickens up you know you can always add but you can't take away and if you want it thicker you know or um thinner you have the option of doing that because you didn't do it all at once now um, once it got thick i po i poured in another cup and we have this on like a medium a medium heat and we're just letting it simmer um, and then at the end, I'm adding in my last cup of milk. Um, so it basically took, and it always takes four cups of whole milk to make this gravy the consistency that I want it. And so now we're just um, going to start adding in like our salt and our pepper. Um, now, the thing about sausage gravy you know you got to have that pepper and a good amount of that pepper in that gravy that's what makes it uh one of the things that makes it so good um and then i like to add some larry seasoned salt um not just regular salt but larry seasoned salt and i forgot to get that out at the beginning of the video that's why it's so important guys for you to watch the video till the end because i may change something in the middle of the race okay so now we got our salt and pepper in and you know just for a little color i call it my little food decoration we added in some um parsley fillets and um we're just gonna get this simmered up get this mixed in and we're just gonna let this simmer and i let this simmer on um uh, it was like a medium to low heat i turned it down a little bit more a medium to low heat um until it really really um thickened up we also had put some biscuits in the oven honey because i already know this is about to be fire and so there's our biscuits and then i'm also going to do some drop biscuits one day for you all as well um and so now we're just getting ready to plate up honey um uh, once you got that gravy um as thick as you like and as you'll see how thick it is y'all 
this gravy was off the chain do you hear me and it was some left over so i can have some for tomorrow um so if you like this video please comment um share 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 thank you all for supporting me thank you all uh, for subscribing to my videos it is much 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 appreciated happy holiday holidays i hope you all have a great new year honey and remember honey it's your kitchen do what you want you all be blessed